Hello everybody, this is Captain Jerwa bringing you some more X and Y live showdown. Um, my original goal with these was to like bring you like like 15, 10 minute like X and Y battles every day, but I've been pretty busy recently, so that's why I have not spammed your sub boxes. So yeah, I'm hoping to uh, get more of these out though, because X and Y is pretty cool and you know, it's a new thing, so I, I figure I, uh, you guys want to see a lot of it. So, But anyway, changed up my team a little bit. Still, the basic team structure is the last one I just changed. I just slashed to physically defensive because I added in floor gaze here, which is our special wall. Fairy actually resists dark and fighting, so it is a pretty dang good defensive typing. So... Yeah, and this thing uh, gets recover and aromatherapy, so it's a pretty dang good wall. As long as it also has freaking ridiculous special defense, like holy crap, this thing is bulky, especially. I'm almost thinking of changing this to like a mixed wall, also, but yeah, it's whatever for now. Uh, I also put a Clawitzer on because I just slash blade the guy about the last or last episode kind of showed me how good this thing is. Um, its ability powers up pulse moves, so Dark Pulse I think has probably like a sheer force boost or maybe even is like pseudo stab now. I don't know. And I put on Halucha because um, I wanted to try it out. Uh, someone else was using this against me, and it looked pretty cool, so I wanted to use it. Um, Power Up Punch raises your attack by one, and I have the Fighting Gem to uh, get off the Unburden here, and its attack stat really isn't too good, but after a Power Up Punch, which is plus one, and Adamant, I think it should be still doing a good amount of damage, and Hot Jump Kick is just a really powerful move, as long as, as well as Acrobatics, um, and yeah, Fighting and Flying is a really cool typing, and yeah, we just have the same, I, I'm lagging, jeez, oh my god. <laughs> um, Choice Scarf Pyro is just the same as last. The reason it's... I think people might be using physical, I don't know. But it has a better special attack stat and pretty good speed, which is why I decided to make that my Scarfer. Probably could change this. I was thinking of making it the, uh... The, uh... Fire Psychic... Chess... Or, not Chessman. Fennekin Evolution, Evolution, but, um... Yeah, I don't know. I'm kind of wrecked by Aga Slash, like every single team is, so that's I don't think I'm going to do that. But uh, I'm going to try to get a battle here. Uh, actually, yeah, let's just challenge. Okay, you already got one. I'm going to try to get a battle here, and I will be right back when I have got one. <laughs> Okay guys, we've got a battle here. This guy's a pretty interesting team. He's got actually all non 6th gen Pokemon, except for his Greninja, and he's got some other interesting stuff here. Uh, these things can definitely work though, because he's got a Dark type, which are pretty good in this new gen, and also Poison types, which got buffed. So anyway, let's not keep him waiting too long though. Let's just lead off with... I think he's going to lead off with Zoroark, um, so I'm going to lead off with my Clawitzer, and just try to U-turn on out of here. I see it's with Infernape, so that's very very good. Um, pretty sure he's not gonna just close combat. Uh, so I'm gonna predict him to like bring in Sceptile or something, so I'm just gonna U-turn out here. And hopefully get some nice switch advantage here. Although this could also be Zorark, I have no idea. So, but overall U-turn seems like the good play because he does have a decent switch into this in the form of Toxic Croak, which basically actually completely shuts down this Claw Clawitzer, okay. That is a Zoroark, okay. Um, I'm pretty sure it's faster than all my things. Although, I just realized his team is like extremely Halucha <laughs> weak. So, I think I can live any hit here. And I can pretty much just destroy almost everything with Halucha. So, let's uh, try to pull that off. Nice power punch. Let's go. Oh, I'm faster. Oh, yeah, because my speed stat is ridiculous already, even without Unburden. So that's pretty cool. He might have been modest also. And now, now things just got very real for him because I've got basically a plus two speed, plus one attack Halucha here. And I think everything on his team is weak to uh, one of my stabs or another. So, uh... Okay, he's quick claw. Ooh, but I lived. I've got bulk. But he'll probably be able to finish me off with more priority if he has it. 
Uh, although he might not, who knows. <laughs> it doesn't appear that he does. Oh my god. This thing is ridiculous. It reminds me of that Pokemon in Pokemon Snakewood that uh, is also fighting, flying, and has speed boosted belly drum. Although this is obviously not that broken. Uh, he was able to stop me. But not after I just pooped on a lot of his Pokemon. And this thing is actually kind of a problem. But let's just go into Pyroar here because I think Dry Skin makes it so Fire Blast is super effective. And since I'm Scarfed, I just outspeed everything. They can hit him with a nice Fire Blast, but yeah, I think I'm going to have to get... Oh wow, that took that well. Holy... Oh. Oh. That's not good. Uh, am I... I'm still going to lose this bat. <laughs> Wait, I think... I think, uh... I think Fairy is super effective on this. I'm pretty sure Fairy is super effective. Or it's just normal. Yeah, it's just normal. Because poison resists it, and... Uh, it's super effective against fighting offensively. It's also fairy. As long as resisting, fighting, and dark, it's also super effective against both. So that's kind of interesting. Um, so if you're having trouble with Pangoro, if you have like a fast fairy type, you can just hit it with a four times super effective fairy move. But uh, yeah, jeez, that Toxic Croak is a threat to my team, but I do have the Floor Gaze. And it was taking all its moves quite well, and I could have recovered, but I just didn't feel like it. Um, and now I can just get off a nice Sludge Bomb and take out this Sceptile. <laughs> so, uh, we both had Pokemon that were extremely threatening to each other's teams. But, uh, yeah. <laughs> I guess I'll try to get one more, um, I'm probably just gonna do, like, gents, just one battle in these, but since that one was so short, let's, uh, let's try to get another one. Now let's challenge this guy. Why not? Just try to limit my editing here by just challenging the first guy. This is how I'm getting all my battles, by the way, I'm just challenging. Is challenging whoever says or I'm just asking the chat if anyone wants to battle so if you guys are having trouble getting matches just do that they're not too hard to get but he has all gen 6 Pokemon on like the last guy um, I probably will have trouble with this team because yeah um, yeah I just might have trouble but it also it looks like Halucha might be able to do well once I get rid of this mofo so let's lead off with gang Actually, let's lead off with Clawitzer again, just so I can try to get some nice damage off on the side just slash. I was thinking of leading off with Gengar, just so I could get off some nice damage on this thing, but uh, if he has Shadow Sneak, he might potentially be able to Oko me, but I don't know what these things run nowadays. Um, okay, so now he's not going to want to take another one of those, so let's go for a nice U-turn. Uh, he's running Toxic on his, which is pretty interesting. Um, I think, like, Toxic, King's Shield, Stealth Rocks, and, like, Shadow Snake is a pretty good set. Or you can run, like, Swords Dance, or you can run... There's lots of sets that this Pokemon can run. This is one of the best Pokemon, it seems, in this gen. Or he just wants to attack me, okay. Well, that's not good, but he does have Shadow Sneak, which I thought he would. Um, I can just go into Pyroar. And just get off a nice Fire Blast. Uh, Shadow Snake doesn't affect me, and he's in this form now, so he's not going to be taking any moves whatsoever. And since I have Rivalry, actually, this is boosted. I purposefully made this Pyro or Male, just because the rival Rivalry. Um, Showdown does randomize the genders, though, so it's not the best strategy ever. It has a lot of potential to blow up in my face. But I know... Um, in general, I don't want to speak for everyone, but it seems that people like their Pokemon to be male. I mean, it's just an observation. It's, I mean, yeah, just something I've noticed. And he brings in Sligo, which just doesn't have a sprite. Pretty sure this is like a defensive dragon. Um, I'm not really sure what he wants to do. Um, but I'm just going to take this opportunity to try to get up my Stealth Rocks. And I do, I do have a, what the, 
the frick is this thing called? A floor gaze with aromatherapy so I can install him. So, there we go. Oh my god. This is physically defensive. <laughs> he doesn't have an item either, which is kind of weird. But I'm just gonna burn him and just start wearing him down. I mean, I'm thinking he's gonna switch out here. Um, I just last just shuts this thing down. Like, it shuts down like nine tenths of the metagame. But he's just gonna try to wear me down here, and I miss the Will O Wisp, which is kind of unfortunate. Um, let's go into Floor Gaze, actually. I wanna get a Toxic on this thing. I don't want I just Slash taking too much more damage. I do have King's Shield, so I can just. I could just potentially protect off all the damage, but. I. Whatever, I'll just Toxic him. And he's gonna Toxic me. Um, I am faster, and I'm pretty sure he won't just try to spam Toxic here, so I'll go for a nice aromatherapy. Just get the Toxic off of this and my uh, Claw Witzer, actually, because he toxic that. He has a lot of things with Toxic. Um, but I'll just get the Toxic off of this, and then I'm, I'll be in a pretty good situation. This Floor Gaze is actually very good against his team, because... I'm definitely going to need it for that Greninja, it'll be definitely good for that Noivern. Dragaga, I'm pretty sure, is the Poison Dragon, so it's not necessarily good for that. But, um, okay, so let's try to go into, let's, ah, let's just go back into Hydra Slash. I was thinking of going into Gengar, but I'm pretty sure this thing is really bulky. Let's actually check really quick what this, exactly what this thing is. While here, while we're waiting here. All right, where's Sligo? Sligo, okay, he's dragon. Yeah, he's like a special wall. Honestly, that's not the best. Uh, I think that's pretty. I can kind of guess that that thing is pretty outclassed by I just slash. So there's that. But uh, whatever. I'll just shadow snake him. I don't care. He is his defense wasn't that good. I think in later videos, I definitely want to try out going offensive with Ija Slash. Like, everyone's using it as a defensive wall. But I think it could be good as, like, a tank kind of bulky attacker Pokemon. Because the way Stance Change works is that when you attack, you go into blade form like this, as you can see there. And when you're in blade form, you have lessened defenses, as you can see his Thunderbolt did a lot less. And the way you go back into just normal form is by clicking King's Shield, which is basically protect, but you go back into blade form. So I think you could I think this ability could be really abusable if you have multiple attacks because Shadow Sneak can like get you into the blade form immediately. And obviously you can basically turn into the King's Shield for free as long as they don't have like Taunt or Substitute or anything. And so you basically can have like base 150 defenses and I think like also when you attack you have like base 150 attacks so... This thing could be really good and if it gets like a good ghost move, um, it could have like Shadow Sneak, Sacred Sword which pretty dang good. Alright, it brings in Greninja. He's gonna want to Dark Pulse us here. Let's see. I got. He still has an I, his own Ija Slash left, so I don't want to bring in Halucha. But I can bring in Floor Gaze. His own Ija Slash, though, is gonna be really freaking annoying. <laughs> Oh my god, look at how well that takes that. That is disgusting. Let's just go for a nice Dazzling Gleam, just in case he brings it. I just slash, although that resists it, doesn't it? Uh, whatever. Oh, he brings in Chestnut. Ooh! Got him. The reason that was super effective is because that thing is fighting type, so he just got destroyed. Fairy's pretty good. Um. There's lots of different options for a fairy, but I think this floor gaze is one of the best options out there. I think it's definitely better than Sylveon, uh, just because it's got better special defense, it gets recover, and I think it might even have a better special attack. Let's check. Okay, where's... Okay, floor gaze. Floor gaze has base 118, base 148, and Sylveon... Where is it? 
Sylveon is 110, 130. So, Florgase is basically Sylveon, but I think Sylveon probably has better physical defense, and it might have better moves. Um, but this thing, you know, it's it's got it's got its own it's got its own type of thing going on here. It's got the special wall thing down flat, and I'm pretty sure it does it does get all these moves. These um, it does get recover and aromatherapy. I didn't just put those on. And these custom games, people can just throw on any move they want onto their Pokemon, like because we don't know what a lot of these Pokemon were. So yeah, but. Um, there are some moves confirmed for some Pokemon, which, and, uh, Recover and Aromatherapy were, were already up as valid moves for four days, so we already know that it's gonna get those, so we can already pretty much, actually, no, I should, uh, I should be willow wisping here. We already know it's gonna be a beastly freaking special wall. He could be running Fire Blast on this thing. I don't know what these things run. He doesn't seem to be running Leftovers on any of his Pokemon. But Dragal guy is more of a special tank also. This is a pretty stolly battle. <laughs> um, so... Yeah, okay, he's just chipping me. The bad thing about using Shadow Sneak with the stance change is that you attack them and then you open yourself up. So, let's just protect. <laughs> Actually, no, I don't want to prolong this. Let's just Shadow Snake. Let's just get as much damage as possible. Because this battle is going on pretty long. Not because it's a lot of turns, it's kind of a lot of turns, but just because this guy is taking forever. And it might be because I'm lagging, because I do kind of... I did kind of seem to be lagging before. It's a good thing I Shadow Snaked, because he goes into this guy. Greninja. Um... Still has I just slash, so I still can't bring in Howlucha because I can't touch that thing with a 10 foot pull. So let's go back into floor base. And I can just get off another. Which, what is this move called? My fairy move? Another dazzling gleam. <laughs> But yeah, I'm really liking the fairy type. The original version of this team didn't have any fairies on it. I was kind of thinking they're, I was thinking they're kind of eh before just because I thought they are like only, like I knew they're immune to dragon, but I didn't realize that they resisted and he leaves. So I think he, there's no there's no way to forfeit on these battles, so people just leave. But yeah, I guess that's that battle for today. We, I, I got to talk a little bit about about the meta game, and I'm pretty sure I had this. Um, I had all six of my Pokemon left. They were all really healthy, and he didn't have like any switches in for since he lost his chest. Not he didn't have too many switches in for like Clawitzer or for Gengar or for anything. So. Yeah, anyway, that's going to be this video for today. Hope you guys enjoy. Definitely leave a like for X and Y. I'm going to try to do more of these. And yeah, um, hope you all had a good day, and I'll see you next time. Peace.